my wounded child. Today, I have something important to tell you. Please listen closely and don't turn away or stop listening. Don't ignore or overlook these words as they're meant for your good. I love you very much and always aim to give you plenty of love to provide you with comfort and protection so that even during tough times, you feel safe, guided, blessed, and valued because you hold a special place in my heart. I need to share this vital message to heal your inner self. I want you to know about the steps I plan to take. Nothing is too difficult for me, and in this amazing time while you've been getting to know me better, you've started to see, understand, and trust that my word is the truth, destined to come true, and it will never fail. However, there's an issue I need to point out. I'm not mentioning this to make you feel sad or give up, nor do I want you to lose hope or stop moving forward. I'm telling you this because if you listen to my advice and follow it, you will receive many blessings. Listen closely and accept what I'm about to say. If you want the doors and windows of heaven to open up for you and to connect with the divine and miraculous, to make this happen, you need to clear your heart of any complaints and negative thoughts. I'm happy with your faith, but don't let complaining poison your genuine belief. Avoid holding onto negative feelings or pessimistic thoughts as they can grow and eventually cause your strong faith to fade. Stop complaining. Stay away from friends who constantly stir up trouble, doubt, and complaints. Instead, choose wise companions. Decide now if you'll trust me or turn away from the good changes and blessings that are coming your way especially if you leave behind complaints. Choose faith, hold on to hope, and avoid negative thoughts. Wonderful things are going to happen. Blessings, help, freedom, healing, peace in your family, joy in your soul, and a heart full of gladness. All these blessings will come to you if you decide to trust in me. I love you so much, my child. Hold on to me tightly. Give me your doubts and complaints. Stop trying to do everything on your own. Let me have the chance to bless you and show you the incredible love I have for you. Tell me you trust in me. I will remove the obstacles in your way. Break down the walls blocking your great future. I'm cutting off the harsh ties that have hurt you and removing the heavy burden that's been dragging you down for too long. Contrary winds have blown against your sails, steering you into the eye of the hurricane, seeking to engulf you in the abyss of sorrow and despair that has afflicted you greatly. Today, I come to offer you liberation. I shall breathe with divine breath upon the storm of malevolence. The burdens laden with fear and anxiety are dissipating. The words I speak are alive, possessing the power to initiate genuine miracles in your life. The changes you've been hoping for, the fresh start you've prayed about, are on their way. But I need to warn you, you can't afford to waste time anymore. You can't just listen now and then forget what I've told you later. Don't misuse the grace and mercy given to you. Fill your soul with good words. Feel the joy of heaven in your heart. Pay attention to the warnings you're hearing. This year is the time to put all the wise teachings you've learned into action. I'll remind you of this every morning when you get up. Even if you can't see me, look for me. You know where I am, as close as your faith within reach of your prayers. I want to answer the deep desires of your heart. If you're ready to see extraordinary miracles this year, you know what to do. Give your heart to me, live rightly, hand over your life's control to me, and follow my directions. I have been foretelling powerful changes that shall soon transpire, and the promise I made to you shall be fulfilled. 
you shall be free from debts, provided with strength and resources. However, it is incumbent upon you to rise from where you are and confront the task I place before you without complaint or faltering. Even in your efforts, there is blessing. Your faith is the key to unlocking these doors. The huge obstacle blocking your way is gone now. Don't be afraid, move ahead with confidence. I will always be with you, giving you strength and direction. To wrap up this encouraging message, I want to give you some important words that will make you happy. The future I have planned for you is amazing, and the blessings about to come your way are enormous. But first, let me tell you how much I love you. You've listened to me in your toughest times and on those nights when I comforted your heart, you woke up stronger the next day with a clearer vision of your wonderful purpose and destiny. I'm so proud of you. It fills me with joy to see how you've learned to avoid the traps set by your foes. It's wonderful to know that you are my child. My blessings are ready to be poured out on you at just the right moment and in line with my plans. While we look forward to this joy, there are still areas in your life where you need to grow and use the insight you've been given. Remember this, some things of value, when received suddenly without effort, are not blessings for your life. Before receiving what I am about to give you, you must understand its purpose and what you must do to multiply your blessings. Just as those who sow in the field must await the time, the rain, the sun, and the seasons, you too must exercise patience, which shall fortify your plans and intentions. Many blessings are forthcoming, anticipate them in your heart filled with peace, for they shall manifest at the appointed time. They shall not come without forewarning, hence, prepare yourself for the victory you shall receive right from the start. I've told you how much I admire you. There's a secret that's been shared since time began, yet only a few try to understand it. Others don't want to listen because accepting it means they have to humble themselves before the Almighty, the Holy and Living God. What I want you to know is that I love you deeply, and I really want to bless you. Let's make a PCT start. Your day with me, kneel down, hear me out in the early hours, and let joy fill your heart. Stop complaining, nourish yourself with my wise teachings, read my words, hold them dear in your heart. Love and respect yourself as I love you. Show your family and everyone else the same kindness I have shown you. Act now, soon you'll see the miracles you've been longing for. These words are for you, my precious child, who comes to talk with me every morning, who takes the time to close your eyes in faith reaching out for my reply. Don't get disheartened or lose hope. Here you are day after day showing such sincere, beautiful, and most importantly strong faith. That's why I want to fill your heart with love, heal any old scars, and make sure you always feel certain of my love for you. Go to sleep with joy and wake up always with unwavering faith that each new day will be better than the last. Wherever you are, feel my embrace, my hands upon your head blessing your thoughts and guiding your steps. I will shower you with beautiful blessings and incredible surprises, but I ask that you remain steady, steadfast, and do not tire of coming here with me every day. You do not have to speak, just close your eyes and feel the affection flowing from my lips. Take these comforting words to heart, I wish for your happiness and peace. Let the tough times pass and welcome a new era of prosperity for you and your family. You might see yourself as insignificant, especially when you compare yourself to those flaunting their wealth, but remember, you have a more significant blessing, you know me and have given me your heart. 
You possess an understanding of the spiritual realm that many lack. We can communicate at any time, and you're always ready to listen. I'll open doors for you that remain shut to others and lead you on the best path. Don't be envious of what others have or be tempted by their wrong choices. Things might look appealing, but they lead to destruction in the end. Walk proudly. You don't need to prove anything to be valued in my eyes. Don't be afraid. You're familiar with my teachings. My house is always open to you. You're always welcome here. This is your home where you're heard and valued. You won't find a love as true and profound as you find here with me, my cherished child. I love you deeply. I am the light that banishes all darkness from your life, your home, your family. It's essential that you seek me daily. That's my love, my desire. Embrace my words with humility, you're hearing them now. Let them sink into your being, cherish them. Find your Bible and place it beside your bed. Wake up with a desire to hear me every morning, read with faith, with eagerness to learn. These promises you hear today will strengthen you. I will make you feel so empowered that you will never again rise full of despair. If you do not understand what I say, then you must know me better. You can come early into my presence. I will make you feel how much I love you. You can go about your daily tasks feeling better. You do not have to bear anxiety or despair on your shoulders. You do not have to be a slave to your emotions. You do not have to rise daily full of fear. I want our relationship to grow stronger. I want you to trust in me in any situation. Stop worrying, choose to give all your thoughts to me, and I'll set you free. Look forward to the coming months with optimism, trust in me. I am showering you with divine encouragement and confidence. I want the fear dominating your home, especially about money matters, to end. They won't bring you down anymore. Let your home be filled with loving words instead of arguments. Bring back understanding and forgiveness among your family members. I'm your guide, your truth, your life. I wish for you and your family to spend this entire year under my divine care. Your home is now free from any curses. My power has purified you from all sins and past ties. No evil force, witchcraft, or spell has any power over you now. Don't believe in false curses. You've opened your heart to me so you and your whole family are safe and shielded. This is my promise. Don't listen to those who don't have faith in me. Dive into this flow of strength, love, freedom, and miraculous change. My holy light is shining on your home and family. Have faith and trust. Wonderful blessings are coming into your life. Tell me you believe in me. Remember those times when I delivered you from so many problems, all the miracles I have performed that have made clear to you the reality of my power. Write it down now, do it with faith. Today you will see everything I can do in your life. Your blessing is here in my hands, the definitive solution to all your problems is here with me. Come and take it, what are you waiting for? You know I love you, you've always sensed it deep inside, even when you feel far away or when doubts whisper that you've messed up, that I don't care for you. That's not true. There's still a spark in your heart, a strong wish to come back to this home that's waiting and missing you. Don't be scared, step forward, even when confusion makes it hard to decide what to do next. You thought you had faith. But then things started falling apart, especially with people you trusted deeply. They went their own ways, 
leaving you feeling forgotten, making you think I wasn't there when you needed me. But deep down, you know I'm always right on time. I've never left you. I watched over you, providing all the answers and solutions you needed, but you hesitated to trust me. I reached out clearly, but you held back, finding it hard to believe that your all-powerful God wanted to talk to you. Don't turn away. This is where you are deeply loved. This is your home, your haven. Here you can find comfort, peace, and a place where you can sleep soundly, allowing me to guide you into extraordinary experiences. Today you're going to have a dream where you're standing by a river with crystal clear waters, looking at me. I'll reach out to you, and you'll walk barefoot on the water, which will wash away all your pain, anger, and frustration. When you wake up in the morning, you'll feel renewed. This is a reward for those who start to believe again, admit their mistakes, and find their faith once more. You don't need to go elsewhere to hear comforting words. I am here. My teachings bring life. Hold them dear in your heart, and you'll be filled with my Holy Spirit. I am your vitality and your blessing, the real answer you've been longing for. Tell me you believe, say it out loud, think it, write it down with all your conviction. What you've lost will be given back to you. I am the God who lifts you up and makes you whole again. I'll make sure that what was taken from you will be returned because you've looked for me sincerely and humbly. I've seen the pain in your heart. Sometimes you feel like there's no hope, but soon you'll realize how much I cherish you. Your future is and has always been in my care, and I have the power to change the challenges you faced. There were moments you felt alone, losing the will to live, but I am changing everything. I draw near to show you this love, desiring to bless you abundantly. What others plotted for your harm, I shall alter and use to elevate you and cause you to thrive. You must be courageous, dreaming grand dreams, daring to conceive of vast projects. You know that holding my hand, you can go far if you truly believe with all your soul that I live within your heart. Begin to think as I do, for my power, there are no limits, obstacles, or enemies that can impede it. Cease contemplating defeat. Do not allow room in your mind for discouragement or failure. Perhaps you are permitting negative individuals to sway you, displacing you from your course, leaving you adrift like a ship battered by waves and buffeted by winds. I shall restore all that you have lost, but you must value my love and the plans I have for you. When I say something, believe it is true. If it's in my teachings, honor and follow it. Don't ignore my advice. Don't always look for the bad in what happens to you. Come and talk to me each morning. Find time during your day to chat with me and let's have a moment together before you go to bed at night. Kneel down and share your day with me. I will give you extraordinary strength. You'll see miracles happen, witnessing the changes in your life firsthand. You'll see that I'm a reliable God and Father, but remember, I seek your affection and faithfulness. Let your words always be kind and uplifting. I love you, and that will never change. Now, say you love me back, my child. Don't ignore these words, don't just move on. Dedicate a moment of your day to me wholeheartedly. Listen to the end. Don't let anything stop you from hearing. Be attentive. Let me write these words on your heart. After you hear this message, you'll feel much better, filled with great peace. So listen carefully. You'll find direction and insight in my words. Search for me with all your heart. Open your Bible every day. Read eagerly. Learn earnestly. In every page, 
you'll sense and hear my voice speaking to your soul. You have longed for an answer, you have prayed and suffered greatly in waiting. But like a potter, my hands are molding you, though at times you may not feel or see it, I'm removing your fears and imperfections, altering your character and outlook on life. After much waiting and enduring nights of tears, when you receive my blessing and my response knocks at your door, you shall realize how you have been transformed. I know you have struggled with various situations, and it is time for you to have peace and happiness. That day is approaching, and now you shall be ready to welcome me into your home as well as those you love. I shall touch their seemingly hardened hearts, I shall transform them. Look around you today and see the love you've spread starting to grow. Bright and hopeful days are coming where sadness will be forgotten, and the fight against feeling down will end. You won't be overwhelmed by deep sadness anymore, nor will your feelings be tossed around like leaves in the wind. I promised you a future filled with good things, and I'm making that happen. So, dive into my teachings, refresh your belief, and build up your strength. Don't be afraid to plan and dream big because you deserve to start fresh, even if things didn't work out before. Trust me completely this time. Your faith and dedication will lead to such great achievements that you'll be amazed. Come to me today. I'm waiting to shower you with love, listen to your needs, and unlock the doors of heaven, making your journey successful. I'm ready to reveal to you that incredible blessing, but listen to all I have to say without letting doubts cut in. You fought hard, and your efforts haven't been wasted. The reward for your faith and perseverance is close. I fully understand the challenges you faced, and I know your heart's intentions. You're not after material wealth, fame, or approval, your fight is sincere and all you want is enough to provide for your family, get out of debt, and take care of your loved ones. I intend to bless you, for it is my will. I shall open the windows of heaven and pour upon you true blessings until you overflow with the provision you require. Finally, you shall be free from oppression, and if you believe in me, you shall do something. Rise resolutely. Continue working, rest when necessary, but rise again the next day. Strive and be courageous with all the fervor your soul can muster. Advance without complaint, without sorrow, with spirit and joy. Even if things do not unfold as you wish or if there are those who seek to trouble you, stick with the plan. Because even on tough days, you'll find the strength to be enthusiastic. When dealing with difficult people, greet them with a smile, serve their needs patiently and wisely, showing kindness, but also letting your strong character and the wisdom you've received from me shine through. Stay away from harmful influences, keep your hands to yourself, and avoid speaking ill of others. Your opponents will be frustrated when they see they can't interfere with your progress. Our journey isn't finished. Keep moving forward with faith, eagerness, and hard work until I say it's time. When the right time comes, you'll understand more as you stand in front of a huge door behind which great blessings await. Tell me you believe and promise to spend time in my presence every day, starting this plan right now. My brave one, because you are full of courage. Stand firm in faith, and you will be victorious. I bless you today with peace, calm, strength, and insight. I've listened to your prayers and am delighted to know what's in your heart. You've come to hear from me, and you're in the right place, my cherished one, because here you are loved just as you are. I'm aware you're not flawless, yet I've seen genuine remorse in your heart. You're working hard to improve yourself, your character, attitudes, thoughts, 
perspective on life, and the way you interact with others. I've chosen you for a life filled with blessings. You face tough times, but you won't have to face as many from now on because my Holy Spirit and my teachings are giving you extraordinary heavenly wisdom. You're learning to make smart choices, no longer swayed by fake friends who actually take away your peace, faith, and safety. That's going to stop. You'll stand strong in any trouble. You turn to me today out of need, and you'll leave empowered. My influence will be evident in your expression. The sparkle in your eyes will show happiness, and your thankful heart and joyful smile will unlock doors and break down barriers. I'm going to shower you with blessings. Get up and start moving forward, for you won't be alone. I'll introduce genuine, non-judgmental people into your life who will help your faith grow and bring more peace and unity at home. Avoid those who try to pull you away from your family, planting seeds of doubt and discord. It's true that some family members may still be skeptical and haven't committed to me yet, but I plan to work through you to demonstrate my love to them, bringing them a message of hope. I'm granting you strength and courage to dedicate yourself to your household. Always acknowledge your need for me, seek my presence, immerse yourself in my word and my Holy Spirit even in the face of discouragement. In this challenging world, there shall always be hope for you and your family with the secure promise of protection, love, guidance, and abundant blessings upon your household. Embrace my love and care. Now tell me, do you accept them with happiness and belief, my wonderful blessing? You have such a beautiful spirit. I admire how you carry yourself, your feelings when you talk to me, when you softly close your eyes, touch my heart deeply. I treasure your gentle soul when it pulsates with joy, filled with a heavenly delight that satisfies me and fills you up, driving away any unease, pain, or sickness. After listening to me, I want you to feel incredibly loved. You don't have to walk around sad, dwelling on your troubles. I love you, and today you will experience this love in many ways. I will show it vividly, and with my powerful words, I will declare it. If anyone tries to stir up trouble, you'll be wrapped in this divine love. If something saddens you, my embrace will protect you from all sorrow, lightening your heart and filling it with joy. Your family and friends will notice and wonder what's changed in you, why you're so joyful. Your foes will back off, overwhelmed because you didn't fear them or let them hurt you. A heavenly shield of protection will surround you, and legions of angels will camp around your home guarding your family day and night. Believe this with all your heart. This love I hold for you is real, not a figment of your imagination. It is as true as the air you breathe, more potent and beautiful than any miracle you may request. It envelopes you, giving you life. This is the greatest blessing you can receive. Thus, I adore your grateful demeanor every day. Upon awakening, you express gratitude for your life, entrusting me with your destiny and your days. Yet you know well that I'm real, watching over you, attentive to your needs. With this faith you possess, you shall rise, living, feeling, knowing that you are a child of the creator of the universe, with immense certainty in every step you take, with a countenance aglow with abundant happiness. My dear child, it moves me, your steadfast character, so thankful. You have such a beautiful heart. Tomorrow, come and meet me early before the dawn breaks. I'll be here, waiting to wrap you in my love once again. I cherish you deeply. I know how much you love your kids, they are precious to me too. Their names, family names, Faces, 
hearts, thoughts, wishes, mistakes, challenges, and hopes are all recorded in my book. I understand what they mean to you. I want you to find peace, stop agonizing over their choices. Are you worried they're on the wrong path? Don't stress about things out of your control. Hand over your concerns to me. Focus on your own path. Too much worry weakens you and takes away your peace. Save your strength and keep your faith because I want you to pray for them. It's time to let go of what needs to be free. The doves have grown and it's their time to fly. Let them go with trust as they spread their wings toward freedom. Remember that my protective embrace will always be with them. As long as you pray, trust in what I tell you, and believe in my plan, you burden yourself with unnecessary worries when you succumb to the urge to control, to decide for your children, to open or close their ways. Leave those concerns to me. There's a limit they won't cross. The respect for your family and your home must always be upheld. If they engage in wrongdoing, you cannot remain silent. I shall grant you the strength, peace, and wisdom when you must confront them. But never speak to them with anger. Guard your tongue. Spoken words and deeds can inflict deep wounds or affect healing. I have not been harsh with you. I have not punished you according to your errors. I have come to offer you love and salvation. Now do likewise with those children you carry in your heart. Believe in this, errors will come, tears will be shed, but the salvation that came into your life will also reach your children when the time I've set comes. They will reach the point I've determined, genuine change will happen, and they'll come back, bringing joy and more happy years to your home. You'll welcome them with open arms, ready to forgive and offer them another chance. Keep praying for your children, and you'll soon experience my peace. Feel confident knowing your children are under my care. A time of blessing for your family is near. Now is the moment for healing to come. Before me with all conflicts and resentments, it's time to let go of past grievances and embrace a heartfelt reunion. If you're ready to receive this blessing, then let me work through you, giving you plenty of wisdom to build up your character and introducing you more deeply to my teachings so you can lead your loved ones. Some in your family may not follow me yet but they'll be encouraged to change their views when they see the transformations brought by my love and power in your life. Allow yourself to be used by me. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. If anyone mocks you and seeks to cause you trouble, deal with them patiently. Let them see you as an example, and may they never fear approaching you feeling assured that you will offer them words of encouragement and pray for them with affection, without reproach or judgment. Even if you disagree with their way of life, their errors and vices, you're not meant to judge or punish. Your role is to love just as I have loved you. You've made mistakes, yet I've never put you to shame. I've been patient, always ready to forgive and give you another chance because that's my nature. My loyalty is endless, my mercy unlimited. I always forgive you, however, remember that mistakes have consequences that can hurt. So be smarter now that you've learned. Recognize that you're alive and forgiven through my kindness and love. Thanks to my patience, as I've never punished you as harshly as your errors might warrant. Come to me each morning, allow me the chance as I allow you to instill patience in you and to provide the wisdom you need to reach a level where you gain the love and respect of your family. You will lead them on my sacred path, and soon they will all acknowledge me as their God and Lord. Look into my eyes, my child, 
and see the depths of my compassion for you reflected there. You are my beloved son slash daughter. Your worth can never be diminished, for you were created out of love to love and be loved. Offer me your hand and feel how perfectly we fit together. I am your strength and salvation. What to you seems impossible is effortless for me. Have faith in me as I have faith in you. Now is the time to heal. Lay your hands upon your heart and pray with me. Heavenly Father, as I kneel before you, I feel the warmth of your love enveloping me like a comforting embrace. Your words have touched the depths of my wounded soul, bringing forth tears of gratitude and hope. You, who are ever faithful and true, have spoken directly to my heart, offering healing and guidance in the midst of my struggles. Today, I come before you with a humble spirit, ready to receive the blessings you have promised. I acknowledge the importance of clearing my heart of complaints and negative thoughts, for I understand that they hinder the flow of your divine love and miracles into my life. Help me, dear Father, to release all bitterness and resentment, replacing them with a spirit of gratitude and faith. You have assured me of your unwavering presence and protection, even in the face of adversity. I surrender my doubts and fears to you, trusting in your divine plan for my life. Strengthen my faith, Lord, and grant me the courage to follow your guidance, even when the path seems uncertain. I am grateful for the promise of liberation from the burdens that weigh heavily upon me. With each step I take in faith, I know that you are by my side, guiding me towards a future filled with blessings and joy. May your light shine brightly within me, illuminating the darkness and leading me towards the path of righteousness. Father, I lift up my family to you, knowing that you hold each of them in the palm of your hand. Grant them peace, understanding, and forgiveness, and may our home be filled with love and harmony. Strengthen our bonds, dear Lord, and help us to support and uplift one another in times of need. I surrender all my worries and cares to you knowing that you are the source of all comfort and strength. Thank you for your boundless love and grace, which sustain me each day. May I continue to seek your presence with eagerness and devotion, knowing that you are always near. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. My beloved child, as you kneel before me in prayer, I envelop you in my loving embrace. I see the tears of hope in your eyes, and I smile upon you with a father's warmth and affection. Here in my presence you can lay down your burdens and find rest for your weary soul. You have come to me with a humble and willing heart, ready to receive all that I have promised you. This pleases me greatly. I desire to flood your life with blessings, but there can be no room for bitterness or negativity. Release all resentment into my healing hands. Fill your heart instead with gratitude, and watch as doors of opportunity swing open before you. All that you have asked is already yours, for you are dearly loved. Now go in peace, walk in faith, and be blessed. Before you go, leave a word to me. I love you. Amen.